So in this lecture, we are going to develop a full-fledged chess game, uh, which two players can play. Now this chess game, I have developed it in uh, App Lab on Code.org using the basic features of App Lab. Okay, so uh, how two players can play this game? That's what we are going to check out now. So this is the first screen that the user is going to come across when he will open the app on his device for the first time. So uh, I am accessing this uh, app currently on three different browsers and you can assume as if it, uh, you know, if it is the first device, this is the second device and this is the third device on which I am accessing this application. Okay, now uh, there is an admin panel. Uh, the admin person is going to control the whole game how the admin screen looks like that's what i'm going to show you first so what the admin has to do for accessing the admin screen you just have to click on this beautiful animated screen and he's going to get redirected on this uh, screen so this is the admin screen where we have got two buttons one for resetting the game and the other for deleting any uh, piece okay and then uh, we have got all the pieces of black player also on this chessboard and we have got all the players of white uh, you know all the pieces of white player also on this chessboard now let's come on this for second device and access player one span so how can we do that we just have to hit this player one uh, label box and automatically we are going Welcome to get mr white we are going to get redirected on this beautiful screen okay uh, where we'll get to see this white player written over here and the all the pieces the names of all the pieces of white player are going to get reflected in this drop down or reflecting in this drop down okay so he can select any of these pieces whatever piece he would like to move on this board similarly a uh, black player can access uh, his panel by a say on a single click he can do that you just have to click on this player to label box and he's going to he'll get redirected on this beautiful screen uh, where he'll get to see this player black player written on the top over here and uh, here he'll get to see the names of all the pieces which he can control okay uh, now how this white player can move his pieces which are there on this admin panel that's what we are going to check out first okay so uh, what the white player can do if suppose he want to move this pawn the name of this pawn is uh, p as in pawn w as in white and four so it is on the fourth box uh, if you'll start from this left side it is on the four box fourth box at present so i have named it as pw4 okay it is pawn white 4 and now if he want to move this white player want to move this pawn on this box you can say two steps ahead so what is the name of this box it is uh, column number is d and the row number is 4 so the box name is d4 so what he can do he can write down the box number over here and when he will hit this move button you will get to see a real time change happening on this uh, admin panel this uh, piece which you are seeing over here it will then move on this box okay so it is a real time change now which you are going to see i haven't got any uh, receiving button on this panel okay so whatever changes you will be seeing now they are going to happen in the real time okay and this game can be played by two or you can say three person uh, on three different devices one is going to control this admin panel and the rest two are going to uh, move are going to define the move for these uh, pieces over here now let's hit this move button and check out the real time change on this admin panel move sent successfully okay so as you can see uh, this player moved from this box on this box similarly if suppose black player uh, want to move this pawn 
over here on this box. Uh, so the name of this pawn is again we are going to start from here. It is one, two, three, four. So it is black. Uh, it is pawn black one. The so block pawn black four. Sorry. So it is P B four. So you can select. And the name of this box is uh, the column number is D and the row number is five. So it is D five. We can put over here in this uh, uh, input text box. Let's hit this move button and see what's going to happen. Move sent successfully. Okay, so uh, now this pawn has moved on this box. Now let's uh, it's white player's chance. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's move this bishop uh, to this box. So how can we do that? See the name of this bishop is from here. It is the first. Uh, it is coming first, right? So this the name of this bishop is W bishop one. And the name of this one is W bishop two. Okay, so let's move uh, this bishop. Uh, you know, on this box, the name of this box is column number is H and the row number is six. So it is H six. Let's move this to H six and let's hit this move button. Move sent successfully. So as you can see now, uh, it has moved on this uh, chess block over here. Now let's do one thing um, with the help of this pawn over here. Let's eliminate this bishop. Let's see how uh, this pawn can eliminate this bishop. So for that, we need to select this pawn first. Name of this pawn is uh, it's coming on the seventh number, so it is P B seven. You need to select it from here, and then the name uh, of this box is H six. Uh, we need to write down H six over here in this box, and let's hit this move button. Move sent successfully. So it moved on this box now. Now, how can this admin eliminate this bishop? What he has to do? He has to write down the name of this bishop over here. So it is W bishop uh, one. Okay, the name of this bishop is W bishop one. And what he can do? He can just hit this delete button and see. Uh, Your one piece is down. So one piece of this white player is down now. Uh, let's uh, move this pawn to on this box. And how can we do that? We need to. Uh, select P W uh, one, I think. Yep, yeah, it is P W one. And let's move this to this box A four. It is A four. So I am writing here A four. Move sent successfully. Okay, great. Uh, let's do the same thing. Let's move this one on this, uh, you know, uh, box. The name of this is P B two. Let's select P B two from here. Okay. And then let's move it on this box B5. So we can write down B5 over here. Let's hit this move, move button. successfully. Okay. And now let's do one thing. Let's eliminate this, uh, you know, black pawn with the help of this white pawn. So what we have to, we need to just uh, come over here on this white players panel. And from here we need to select uh, P W. Uh, it is second, right? P W P W one. We need to select. Sorry. Okay, and here we can write down um, what is the name of this box? It is B5. So we can write down B5 over here. Let's move it. Move sent successfully. Okay, so now it has covered this black pawn. Now, in order to eliminate that black pawn, which is just below this white, what we have to do, we need to write down over here the name of that black pawn. So it is PB2. And then we can hit this delete button. Your one piece is down. So one piece of this black player is down now. Uh, how can I move it further? Uh, I need to, uh, you know, come on this uh, white players panel, and here I can write down B6. This is where I would like to move this pawn to uh, B6. Uh, let's hit this move button and move it on this B6 block. Move sent successfully. Okay, now let's eliminate this pawn with the help of this black pawn, which is uh, PB1. Yep. And the name of this box is B6. So we need to write down B6 over here. Let's hit this move button. Move sent successfully. Great. So it is working perfectly fine. Okay, so uh, how can we get rid of this white, uh, what we say, pawn? Uh, we just have to write down PW1 over here in order to get that, uh, get this pawn eliminated from this board. Your one piece is down. So one piece, uh, another piece of white pair is down now. How you can move this horse uh, in this box? What you have to do? You have to 
select W uh, night one from here and here you can write down so the name of the box is C3 right so we need to write down C3 over here let's hit this move button move sent successfully so that's how you can move it on this box okay uh, similarly if you want to move uh, if this black player want to move this on this box you can write down the name of this uh, you can select the name of this night uh, player from this drop down so it is B knight 1 and let's move on move it on this box it is C6 we need to write down C6 over here let's see what's gonna happen whether we'll be able to see the required changes or not move sent successfully move sent successfully and see the pawn uh, this uh, knight moved in real time on this box okay now um, so this this is how two or more players can play this game now if suppose uh, at any point of time, the, re the reset of this game is required. The admin is required to reset the game. How he can do that? He can just hit this reset button. And that's how. You have reset the game successfully. So that's how the whole game will get resetted in one go. Okay. So uh, again, if suppose, uh, you know, the players which got eliminated, they are again visible to us as you can see. Uh, this bishop who got eliminated earlier by the spawn and now it is again visible to us so that's how i have coded this game now let's see whether i'll be able to play it again or not uh, let's select this uh, what we call pawn and the name of the spawn is okay so we need to select the name of this pawn it is pw4 let's see whether i'll be able to move it on this uh, what we call d3 box or not and here i go move sent successfully so yes i was i am able to move it on this box let's now see whether i'll be able to play uh you know with the with these pawns or not and let's move this pawn to this box so what is the name id of this uh, uh, what we call it uh, pawn it's pb4 right we need to select from here pb4 and then we can hit uh, we can write down the name of the box over here uh, so we i would like to move it on uh, d6 so let's see how can we do that move sent successfully move box sent successfully that's how we can play the game again and if the uh, reset is required so admin can just hit this button you have reset the game successfully uh, to reset the game okay so that's how uh, you can play this beautiful chess game now let's come on that code.org platform and check out the app lab features i've made use of for creating this beautiful uh, chess game so this is the coding part what is happening over here let me just tell you that first so you know the user is going to come across this screen three full screen uh, two first so there is an animated gif image i have placed over here i've defined over here so when the user will click on this player one so this is a code which is going to get executed so automatically the records which i have saved in this uh, table named white they are going to get pulled up let me just uh, help you guys with the you know uh, things i have saved in uh, in this white named table so these are all the names which are saved in this white name table and all the names are going to get pulled up uh, with the help of this code and finally I'll be able to see everything uh, getting reflected in this drop down where is that drop down this is the one so the white player will be able to see the all the white pieces the names of all the white pieces getting reflected in this drop down with the help of this code I have done it so okay now let's come up on this on even block of this uh, button one now where is that button one let's find it out first this button one I think it's on yeah this is button one so when the when this white player or black player will hit this button one what's gonna happen a table with name move is going to get created and the name of the piece and the box name of the box is going to get saved in that table uh, named move okay now then at the same time this uh, code will be fired by this platform okay and uh, records are going to get pulled up from this move table and accordingly on the basis of the same the position of these the one of these pieces which the user will select is going to get changed 
okay so i have made use of the set position option for changing the position of these pieces over here fine and then what will happen if the uh, if this uh, person if any user will hit this uh, image 2 which is uh, present on this screen 2 so he's going to get redirected on screen 1 directly so it is the code which is actually uh, uh, you know which will actually take the user to the admins panel fine so this is the admins panel where you can see all the pieces and this reset button and the delete button is also there so the admin is going to control this whole game right uh, same is the code uh, I have defined for this player 2 also the code which I have defined for this player 1 uh, in the same way the same code I have defined for this player 2 also so the records are going to get pulled up from this table named black let me just show you what is there in that table named black so we have got the names of all the pieces uh, which that player is going to control and then uh, you know all the names of all these pieces are going to get reflected over here in this drop down which you can see uh, on this screen 3 so what black player will get uh, it will the text over here will get changed from white player to black player just because of this line of code I've defined over here and the options of this drop down are going to get set to uh, the names of the black player pieces the black pieces fine now let's come on uh, this reset part how the uh, sorry not the reset part but this delete button code so this delete button is there on this admins panel when the admin will hit this delete button after entering the name of the uh, piece he would like to eliminate from this chess board so this is what is going to happen the element will go disappear just because of this hide element code which I have defined over here and then uh, if suppose the admin want to reset the game at any point of time he can do it uh, using this button over here you just have to click this button and automatically everything over here which I have defined inside this on even block for this reset button is going to get executed by the compiler of this platform okay so the positions of these uh, you know pieces are going to uh, set they will come to their initial position and if there is any element which is not visible so it will be visible to us again uh, because of this show element block which I have defined over here and same uh, is the thing same is the code which I have defined for all these 16 uh, sorry all these 32 pieces which you are seeing over here right now on this beautiful admin panel so that's how I have uh, you know developed this beautiful chess game do try it on your own and if you want to avail coding classes facility contact me on my uh, phone number that is 9891665634 for availing those coding classes facility have a great day bye bye